Hey, I'm back for day two of Dex Daily, and uh, one of the things I want to talk about today is teams. The importance of teams, and I was talking with Cameron Harold, who's uh, uh, the founder of COO Alliance. Uh, he's all over the place. He's, he's done TED Talks and uh, really just an impressive guy. He's going to be coming out on my podcast here within the next uh, four weeks probably. And anyway, the talk that I had with him, a lot of the stuff we talked about was teams. And he talked about the importance of getting your people that are in your company, uh, that, that are part of your team, to, to be involved in your vision. And that was really uh, kind of like, wow, yeah, they want to know what your vision of the company is. Anybody, you think about, and when, when, when we raise private money, we raise private money based on uh, the financials, sure. But we also raise it based on, our experiences based on who we are based on our company and then also based on the story that we're telling on the apartment building and we're raising that money we're gonna do a better job if people can actually envision themselves inside the apartment envision themselves living there being there uh, sending their kids to live there that type of thing and so being able to give our team that vision of our company, where it's going, what we're doing, if we're apartment investors, you know, we want to make sure our third party property management managers are actually understanding what our vision is, right? The people that are actually on the ground day to day, do they know your vision and do they feel your leadership? So that's really important when we're talking about teams. And then when we're in our business too, teams, and he said something that I thought was really cool. We have our to-do lists, right? But he said, are you, you have your to-do list, but are you looking at your to-do list and saying, it's my who to-do list, right? Who should be doing this stuff? Should it be me or should it be somebody else? And as he mentioned, you know, he's, he's worth, uh, you know, a lot of money uh, and, and should be, getting paid more than 20 bucks an hour. So if he's got some stuff that is to do for 20 bucks an hour, he needs to give it away. And a lot of us are gonna do that stuff. And I catch myself all the time doing the $5, well, maybe not $5, right? But, but $10, $20 an hour stuff. And I shouldn't be doing it. I should be giving that stuff away, but it's so easy to go, oh, I just, I got this, it'll be quick, it'll be easy, and we get, all of a sudden involved in all that stuff and we realize the day is gone, right? We didn't do anything. So super important to just asking yourself who should be doing this, right? Um, you know, realizing that you don't have to do everything, right? You don't have to do it all. All that stuff, it has to get done. All that stuff on your list, it has to get done. But should you be the one doing it? or should somebody else be the one doing it? And that's what he sees in these companies that he's able to bring from, you know, $100 million in sales to to, to $500 million in sales. And, and that's the types of companies he's dealing with and that's the type of results he's getting. And the biggest thing that he's seeing is that vision and that leadership and that team building um, for, for that success. So. Take it for what it is, build your teams, make sure you're getting other people involved and start thinking who should be doing this, not what, what should I be doing, not how can I get this done, but who should be doing it. Hey, if you have a topic you want me to hit up or if you just wanna join and, and ask a question, I'd love to talk about it. So if you got anything that you want to talk about, you want me to talk about, I'd love to do that. I'm going to be coming here every day live, and I want to bring you as much valuable information as I can possibly bring.